Good afternoon, everybody. It's we Paddy from across the chips, across the chips, <laughs> across the shuck. How's my little potato chips today? I hope you're all well. Um, I've got a lovely video for you today. Well, it's lovely in my eyes. I've been looking for a doctor's knife uh, for a long time, and I haven't been able to get one because I wanted specifically a doctor's knife with a spatula because I don't understand why they call long, thin bladed knives doctor's knives when there's no spatula because to me that's what makes it a doctor's knife but let's get away from that rough rider have got one with a spatula and it really is lovely to get one in a budget and um, because it's probably not a knife i'm going to use a lot but it's one i love having in my collection that i can bring out and show uh different knives that are made by different places uh around the world that that are useful knives to certain people in certain professions, if not today, in the past. This is definitely one of the past. So I was really pleased that they came out with this. This is the High Plane Drifter series, and it's in bone, and look how sculpted that bone is. Isn't that just beautiful? It's like scalloped all the way down. Beautiful colour, really like an autumn colour, like a, a mocha colour. But it's a little bit different on each side, but pretty well matched, I would have to say. But I just love the detail they put in this. I mean, this is just, you know, it's a 15 pound knife. What's that? Well, it's cheaper in the States, probably $15 or below in the States. But 15 pound to me is good value for this knife. For a two bladed pocket knife, three and a half inches long, and it's got two blades. One which is just a long clip. And a spatula, which I'll show you in a minute. But I just want you to see what sort of... Because you, sometimes you say three and a half inches and it means nothing to some people. Um, so there's the knife there. And here is a, one that's about... This is the, about the same size as it. This is the 93 millimeter sack knife. So about the same size. You can see that it's just over three and a half inches. And so is this. So it's a beautiful knife. Um, the blade size, just let me show you that there's not much difference in the blade size, just different shapes. There we go. There's the exactly the same size blades. So that will give you an example. That's a 93 millimeter. This is a single blade sack. And I actually really like that. Look how thin that is. Now, I know this is a two blade, but look how thin that knife is. Talk about that again, maybe sometime. So that gives you an idea. Now, look at this beautiful long clip point. It has the mat strike pulls, nail neck, the crescent nail neck, and the long pull. Lovely skinny knife. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you uh, just snap this down, you will get blade wrap. Or I did in mine. Not everyone's going to be the same, but I got blade wrap in mine. I have sensed, if you can see, I have taken it out. It is now lovely and sharp. It's a real, it takes a really, look, it's 440A. Let's just pass that by. It's a, a cheap steel, but it works. It cuts. It does me for anything I want to want in this little knife, which is more of a shoe knife than anything else to me. And I know it's only £15, but to me, this is a beautiful shoe knife. I would show this to anybody. A, a, a non-knife person would think this is a beautiful knife and they'd be right to think it's soap because it is. So it's a lovely long clip, really nicely done. Uh, just don't slam it down. And that's my only thing that I would say. And the really important thing about this is it had the spatula on it. Again, that crescent nail nick and the spatula. We all know what a spatula is. And this can be, it was used for sorting tablets out, you know, moving them about. It could have been used as a tongue depressor. Anything at all, a stirring stick, a twizzle stick. If you're going out for a drink at night and you're going to drink cocktails, what a lovely thing to take with you to stir your cocktails. Beautiful. I mean, it's just, you can think of different uses for anything, can't you? I mean, you can spread your butter with this. I mean, you, you, it's a knife, it's useful, it's a tool. There's many applications for every tool, and this is no exception. Because it's called a doctor's knife, doesn't mean you have to be a doctor. <laughs> you can use this for anything. So, I mean, I'm over the moon. I think there's half stops on it. It's beautiful for £15. Absolutely gorgeous. And the detail they've gone into for this bone it's marvellous. I just think it is super that they make the effort to, to, to give you a product that looks the part. So there's nothing much more I'm going to say. That's a doctor's knife. But it's sort of a theme that I've got into this year is getting knives that have a multi-tool function, as in they've got a, a blade, but they also have another tool that is useful. 
and going back, I mean, the, the, the olden days, they did make knives were made for to be used in different things. So they put different blades, like your your stockman's knife that had the three blades, a spay blade for doing animals. We don't do that anymore. Still a fabulous knife. The doctor's knife. You know, how many people sort tablets out now? Not a lot. Um, so it's just a series of knives that, that comes and goes as the years passes on and they get modern and they've been modernized quite a lot. And I'm sure this is very similar to what an old doctor's knife would have been. So some of the other ones that I have got this year, I'll turn this on its side. Uh, sorry, that's an under three inch blade. And this, you can get doctor knives that are much longer uh, with longer spatulas and blades. But this is three and a half inches closed and it's a three inch blade from tip to stern. So it's UK legal, not a problem, which I find that's nice. So if you're going out for a cocktail, Take it with you. It, it, look, it's a talking point and it gets other people into knives. Some of the other ones I've bought this year are the sort of, this is a modern uptake again of a knife that was used whenever Coca-Cola was invented. And this is the bottle opener. This is the Bullet End Jack from GEC. This is the number, and I've forgotten the blooming name again, 85. Beautiful, beautiful knife, but it has a bottle opener and a screwdriver. So it's a multi-use knife. Very relevant today. Although, to be honest, over here in the UK, we don't have a lot of flatheads. Don't know what you have in the rest of the world. Uh, not many flatheads now, most of us all. I think GEC nearly need to make a blade that's got a Phillips head on it because it would be more relevant and it would update this knife again. There's nothing wrong with this. You can use it as a scraper. You can hold here and use a bit of a pry. But I think the Phillips head would be, or an option, make one of each uh, when you're doing a, a brand. I think GEC are normally the leaders in something like that. I think they have to do it. I think it is a thing that's got to come is put a Phillips head screwdriver on there. But this is just a, a two-bladed knife. You have a beautiful big spear point. That is a lovely spear. I genuinely love that. It's fat. I just love it. Some people don't like them so fat. Well, I just think that is gorgeous. And that's the crown lifter, they call it. So it's an older uh, an older pattern, but brought up to date with this dead skunk acrylic. <laughs> the name is just amazing. And look at that. The depth in this. The depth of something is very hard to give you on a, on a camera. You need to see this in hand. And I just think that is one of the most attractive with a Coke bottle shield. I mean, it's just so well done. GEC, again, knocked it completely out of the park with this. So I'm going to keep this one sort of the centre of the picture. But again, it's that same sort of size. And it's the, the, the 15 boys knife pattern. It's just a little bit. The 15 boys is just a little bit smaller. But this is another one that I got in that pattern. Look at that beautiful jigged, green jigged bone. Tell me that is not an Irishman's knife. It is beautiful. And this is called the Urban Jack. Again, you have just a normal blade, just a spear point, uh, the thinner spear point. Again, you can get whichever one suits you. Um, and I was one that was never really going to get these gimmicky knives. And I've had these two now. And I'm looking for more because they are just, it's a useful knife. But if you're a bearded person, look at this. This is the... Uh, Refuge removal tool. <laughs> I just think that is brilliant. It's a beard comb and I have a big bushy beard and let me tell you, it's fantastic. It really is. It genuinely does what it said. It's not a gimmick. If you've got a beard, this is a great knife. But if you've got a pet, what a great knife to have just to take any knocks out of the pet when you're sitting there. So again, it's multi-use. You just have to find where it fits in your life. But I just think, half stopping all in that uh, beard comb, I just think, this this is a joy to me. You don't get this with modern lock knives. This is the joy that you get when you're collecting uh, traditional knives because there's so many different patterns. There's so many ways they can do it. And there's new and refreshing knives. Like this, to me, is new and refreshing. Beards are the end thing at the minute. Uh, I've had a beard all my life since I was 18. So, I mean, this is a genuinely good beard comb. <laughs> So go figure. I mean, it just is lovely. I love that. And th there's three that I've got in my collection. I have many more, but I just wanted to show 
three, you know, a couple of other ones that are multi tools that can be used in the modern day because it's an old doctor's knife. It's also a swizzle stick for a cocktail, you know, because it's opening bottles. Do you know what I mean? There's still bottles to be opened, like beer bottles, whatever. It was made originally probably for just pop bottles. But there we go. I'll take them out of the way. And I'm going to bring you another long, thin, skinny knife. And a lot of these I, I've seen called... Now, this is a Shatton Morgan. And this is... Oh, let me just see what that says this is. This was made by Queen, by the way. This is a beautiful long... You can see the difference. I'll show you the difference. The Doctor's Knife is a much more delicate version of this. A lot of a lot of the companies bring out these and they call them doctor knives to put a you know a clip in them and but they don't put spatulas, and I think that why would you call that a doctor's knife? Shat and Morgan don't call this. This is just a a skinny trapper blade. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knife. I love that elongated, and it's like you know it depends what you're using it for. It just literally, you know, if you want to cut a lovely scone up or something, this is a beautiful knife to have. If you eat out and you eat your nice desserts, a beautiful knife to bring out. It is just lovely. Typical Chat and Morgan, the shield is sunk in. It's not particularly flat or flush, but the wood is gorgeous. The fit and finish other than the shield, which can often be a problem with Chat and Morgan. Look at that line bolsters, that beautiful beautiful wood it nearly looks like oak but I don't, i'm not sure what the wood is i haven't got the box down here with me a caravan and this was one of 30 so there's not many of these in the world and i am so pleased to have this in my collection now the queen have gone and they don't make them i know this is shat and morgan but it was made by queen and and you know i i take that as queen has gone the owner of queen or not the owner of Queen, the, the head man at Queen now owns GEC. So the knife world moves on, and uh, this is a beautiful big knife. No half stops in this, but there's no blade wrap on this, whereas there was blade wrap in that, and I had to take it out. So when I'm setting that in now, all that means when you get blade wrap is when you slam this down, you slam it down, it will, this the Ricasso here, this is supposed to stop it doing that. But when you get a big, long, skinny blade, you get the vibration when it hits. And sometimes it will hit the bottom. And this one does. It hits the, the middle pin usually. I had a lovely little chip there. I'd done it before the video. I, I took it out. So now I know I'll just take it gently. And that's it. Look, this is a rough rider. A lot of the times you get them well centered. This is not centered, but there's no rubbing. If I show you these blades, there's no rubbing on the end of these blades whatsoever. Especially a spatula, there's nothing. But they maybe don't come completely centred, but as long as they work for £15, and the scallop and everything about this knife is first class. Look at that back spacer. Or sorry, the back spine of that knife. Is that not just beautiful? It really is. Gorgeous. So... That's what I wanted to show you today. I know they're out of stock in a minute. I'm sure there's much more coming in. Tacticalknives.co.uk Please go over there, check them out. Now, I bought this one. But the next video that's going to be coming up your way is this one. And this is the Benchmade Special Edition. Very expensive. I'll just have to say that. You know, as far as knives go, this is an expensive version of the proper, which is usually about £150 over here. This is about £50 extra. But if you've got the money and you want a blue and black bladed proper, I don't think this is a lovely version. It's G10. Absolutely lovely in hand. But like the first time I reviewed a proper, there's things I have to say about it. But all in all, it is gorgeous. But it has a lot of faults that... Uh, that I wouldn't expect in a knife of this price. So there we go. I'm not going to give you any more away. If you watch my original one, it's probably not going to be that much different. Except that this is stunning. Stunning looking. I mean, I love blue. And the blue G10 on this is done perfectly. So that's the next video. But this video was this. The Rough Riders High Plains Doctored Knife. If you get a chance to get one, highly recommend it. What a conversation starter. What a non-knife you know, dragging a non-knife person into a conversation if he sees you stirring your cocktail with that. Or you depress his tongue. Make sure you ask him first. It's not something that people like to happen. 
Take care, everybody. Paddy's away. Cup of tea time. All the best. Bye now.